Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick jailbreak update video today after the madness of what was yesterday, and I mean all of the iPad unboxings, the Mac Mini unboxings, a video about the Apple Pencil 2, and we actually have a video about the new MacBook Air that was just released yesterday, and that's coming later today, if not first thing tomorrow morning, so definitely check that out. But let's get into the latest news. There was one major thing that caught my attention today that I wanted to share with you guys. Now, this was tweeted out by Vangelis. It is the main official a Twitter account of the Power of Community event that's currently going on. Well, it sounds like tomorrow, the Pangu team, who commonly attends this event, is actually going to be presenting. But what was surprising to me is a member of the Pangu team, A, he's giving his talk, like I just said, but B, it sounds like he will disclose some unpatched bugs. Now, this is very vague. This does not mean Pangu is going to be releasing a jailbreak, but it will be very interesting to see exactly what they released as far as unpatched bugs or vulnerabilities go, and that will be happening tomorrow. So expect an awesome jailbreak update regarding this news and this news being an iOS 12.1 jailbreak demonstration performed on the iPhone 10s Max by Keen Lab. This is also happening at the exact same event tomorrow, so I'm very excited to see what news and information comes out and is spawned because of this event. In any case, if you guys want more information on this, check out my last jailbreak update video where we went into depth about what this photo right here details. In any case, I mainly wanted to make today's video letting you guys know that iOS 12.0.1, as of recording this video at exactly 2.14 in the afternoon, it is still being signed. And if you guys have updated to iOS 12.1 and want to jailbreak in the near future, definitely downgrade as fast as possible to 12.0.1. Now iOS 12.1, for those of you who don't remember, was released on October 30th, and now that it's November 8th, iOS 12.1 has been released for roughly nine days now, and that means one signing window will be closing very soon. It could happen at any moment now, so if you guys have yet to downgrade to iOS 12.0.1, Definitely do that right now if you're on iOS 12.1. As you guys know, some awesome exploits could be released for iOS 12.1 or iOS 12.0.1 and iOS 12.0 very soon by a developer named Yu Meng. And I've talked about the status of those exploits in past videos. There's nothing new regarding that, but if anything does happen to come out in the next couple of days, I'll be sure to update you promptly. In any case, it sounds like his exploits and remounts still work on iOS 12.0.1, but there are some issues on iOS 12.1. This is why he and the rest of the jailbreak community is suggesting to downgrade almost immediately even, where is Twitter? There we go, Twitter. Even Pwn to Own, the developer of the Uncovered Jailbreak, gives out this suggestion or this jailbreak guide in a sense. He says, if you're already jailbroken, stay and save blobs. If you're on iOS 11.4 to 12.0.1, stay and save blobs. But if you're on iOS 12.1, like I've been saying throughout this entire video, definitely downgrade to iOS 12.0.1 and again, save blobs. So if you guys want a quick little tutorial on how to save blobs, just head to this site. It will be linked down below in the description of this video. Pretty much all you do, just enter your iDevice's ECID right there. Now this can be obtained directly through iTunes within the device summary page by triple clicking on this serial number. It will reveal the device's ECID. Unfortunately, this number can only be gained by connecting your phone or iPad to iTunes. You can't actually see this directly on your device. In any sense, once you have that entered there, you select your device and then you select I'm not a robot and hit submit. So a quick example being if I just paste my ECID of my iPhone, now I actually look this up on the computer before doing this, it looks like we can actually submit this on the iPad itself. Again, we just go down and I'm. this is for my iPhone 10. And you can actually see the identifier now within iTunes as well by clicking once more past the ECID to get the correct identifier. Again, this is the GSM iPhone, so that's my identifier is 10.6. I'll select I'm not a robot right there and go through these on-screen steps of, looks like it's going to have me select bicycles, so, and continue until there are none left. So let's try that. There we go. I'm going to click Submit, and there we go. 
Now that they're all saved, you can click on this link right here to view your device's SHSH2 blobs. This is what I have mine saved for. I started saving them a long time ago. Now you only have to do this process once for every device that you own. As you guys can see with my iPhone 10, I started saving blobs back all the way back when iOS 11.2 was the current signed firmware. So it's saved blobs automatically for every firmware since then. I don't know what happened to 11.4.1 but I do have iOS 12.0.1 and iOS 12.1 right there. Now it'd be a very good idea on the computer to download this zip file and save it so you always have access to it if for whatever reason this site goes down. But in any case, it's super easy to save blobs. This will allow you to potentially upgrade to iOS 12.0.1 from a jailbroken device on an older firmware. Now this can also work on a non-jailbroken device. Someone just has to create what's called a nonce generator for this to work. And blobs typically only work when upgrading to a newer firmware or restoring to that same firmware, say iOS 12.0.1. And there's a couple caveats and a couple things, technicalities, I guess, that get in the way. It has to have the current SEP and baseband still being signed. There's a lot that goes into blobs, but it's a very good idea still to save them as a worst case back resort. I would not rely on blobs to save the day, but as a last case resort, they may be able to get your device to iOS 12.0.1 after the signing window has closed. Again, your SHSH2 blobs have to be saved for your specific device, for every device you own. This is a last case resort thing to do. I would not rely on them. I would honestly just downgrade to iOS 12.0.1 today to ensure your device can be restored to that firmware while the signing window is still open to make sure nothing goes wrong. In any case, guys, that's my recommendation. If you're on iOS 11, I personally would just stay there. It's up to you, honestly. I can't really suggest what to do. No one really knows if iOS 11.4.1 or if iOS 12 is going to receive a jailbreak first. So sorry, I can't really help you guys out there on that ETA. We're still just waiting for some new kernel level exploits that provide read and write access to the root of the file system for either iOS 11.4.1 or iOS 12. Now, interestingly enough, I actually saw from Pwn to owns Twitter account that you can actually obtain your iPhone's ECID directly from your iPhone, so as long as you're jailbroken and that you're jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak. You can go ahead and install New Term 2 for iOS 7 to iOS 11. Go ahead and let that install via Cydia. Again, you have to be jailbroken to obtain your iPhone's ECID on device, like I just said. Otherwise, you just have to connect your iPhone to a computer and use iTunes to obtain this number. But once New Term 2 is installed, we're gonna go ahead and open it up and I'll just give it a second to finish installing. Again, once it's done, just hit return to Cydia. Go back to the home screen and then navigate to New Term 2. You can go ahead and launch that up, and then we're going to run one command. It's ECID, ECID, no space between those two. It looks something just like that. Go ahead and hit return, and you'll notice 0x, and then the number after that times or x mark right there is your iPhone's ECID. Now, if we compare this to the one that I used earlier in this video on my iPad, you will notice that these two numbers are exactly the same. So I was actually pretty impressed that there is a way to get your iPhone's ECID or iDevice's ECID number directly on device so as long as you're jailbroken with the uncovered jailbreak. And it's a super simple terminal command to run to get this number. Again, then you can actually just go ahead and go to the, the TSS Saver website and enter that number in to begin saving your SHSH2 blobs automatically. But it looks like you can do this process entirely on device, which is just absolutely phenomenal. Anyway guys, that is the latest news I have for you. You can also save blobs on the computer doing the exact same process. In my opinion, that's a little bit easier since you already have to be on the computer to get your iPhone or iPad or iDevices ECID number. Um, just go through the exact same steps that I'm showing you on screen now. 
In any case, that's the latest news that I have for you guys. Potentially new undisclosed bugs from Pangu, a member of Pangu team. An iOS 12.1 demonstration is going to be performed by KeenLab tomorrow, so tomorrow is going to be a very exciting day. Again, I'll be first to update you when we have new information regarding these events. Anyway guys, get to iOS 12.0.1 if you're on iOS 12.1. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video, but until next time, this is Tony, signing out.